to Lyrically Inclined. We are here at Black Cafe for our Battle of the Sexies Poetry Slam. Y'all having a good time? Yeah! That's why we're here. Um, and shout out to Black Cafe for allowing us to be here for several years. We've been here since at least 2013. So we've been here for a Make sure you tip your barista. Make sure you're ordering something from the bar. Um, Food is good, get a scotch and they're delicious. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get started now. And we have our judges. Judges, can you raise your hand? We have three judges in the building, poets. We don't have a very big audience tonight as we've already just poets. Uh, we do have two audience members here, three audience members here in the corner. Shout out to y'all. Thank you for coming out tonight. We appreciate you. Um, Guys, you're gonna get your ass whooped. And the queens go first tonight. No sacrificial poet. Y'all, y'all, let's give it up for sit there. Harvard professor Sun Michelle once said, white women, you are not the damsel to the white man's villain. You're the bottom to the white man's plot. White women, the patriarchy has saddled you with the lion's share of childcare. You can end everyone's suffering in one generation. Raise your sons better. I refuse to acknowledge your misplaced rage, fuming that you got an unequal share of ill-gotten gains. I refuse to hear your excuses. I refuse to see your tears. Those tears, those streams of toxic acid that stream from your cognitive dissonance like not nuclear waste, mutating your sons into monsters, crouched, ready to pounce at any moment to rescue you from the consequences of your own decisions. Mm. Don't bother to lie to me. You often mistake me for brethren. I slip into your spaces a sheep in wolf's clothing. I see you in your natural habitat. I hear you when you don't see me. I hide my sons from yours. We laugh in low bubbles in the backyard, shielded by trees and colorism, desperately demanding a few moments, a sliver of escape, so my sons can breathe. Feels in my nostrils are 
watching raindrops dripping through the rooftop. Each drip is an imprint of perpetual sadness. I can't get that disappointing look of my sister out of my head. She is ashamed of me as I stare at that crack pipe on the cold, wet carpet. I tremble, fiending for the next hit, chasing the original feeling of that first fix. It keeps calling me, but it eludes me. As you can tell, I'm not coping well. I feel hopeless. I'm as empty as that hole in my soul. I scratch the crabs, the itch down there. Cause getting the next rock was more important than taking a bath. I'm so sorry. As I explore this self-inflicted apocalypse, my mind damaged my clothes, filled them. This is a poem of a fiend with a dream. So my words scream, never get clean. If I don't quit, then I die the death of an addict on the scene. I try to kill myself once, but God spared my life. So I twist the strife into love when I write. And then my spirit on this battlefield, I fight. This war is ugly, but this journey is right. I was willing to go anywhere and do anything to get this straight. My best choices were great. My best friend was my mistakes. This is my journey where strangers took me in. They gave me love so I could win. They gave me hope on my path from where this walk began. Cause I'm a consequential sanctuary. A living, breathing miracle. I'm going to teach you a lesson. When a man comes and tells you that he's a miracle, you shall not believe him because that nigga lies. <laughs> I will, I'm sorry, Anthony, you may not like to hear it, but I am fuck nigga free. And I believe in me. And I'm very, very satisfied that I am fuck nigga free. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, even though a citrus poem was dope, it's still above that, not above that. Damn it, I said it wrong. Damn it. 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 But the score needs to reflect the women and how great we do. Hold up your scores when you're ready. Bias. Not bias. Excuse me. 9.3, a 9.5, and a 9.8. We applaud the poet and not the score. I think that that round. <laughs> That leaves us with a 4.86. That leaves us with a 286. All right, I got that. 28.6, I hate you. Mm -hmm. Y'all ready for the next poet? What? Yeah. Ladies, we need to keep working out. Can we focus up right now? Shit. Okay, it's my turn. Right no, 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 no.
It's 3.30 in the morning. And as I'm drinking my last shot, I realize that the definition of love in this generation is hitting in the perfect blind spot. No matter how much you try to see it, it's always going to be this much out your vision until you try not to seek and see that love should speak. I think love is the perfect criminal. Get a rock of your own heart and leave no trace of feeling. See, I had to learn the hard way that no matter how much you love somebody, they can fuck with me like they never knew you. And that shit hurts so bad, you go from that yeah. extrovert outgoing and the love person to an introvert because you refuse to feel that same hurt. Shit, at this point, to be honest, I feel cursed. Because every love I gave, every love I had, I dived in the head first, but never got the same love for your first. That's the shit that hurt. So I'm going to just sit my drunk ass down and write a letter. <laughs> I'm going to sit my drunk ass down and write a letter about the love I know I deserve. No, I'm going to write a letter to my soulmate. So let her know that the man of all says, huh, just for me, so we can have a supernatural love. Dear soulmate, I don't have an address for you, but I hope this letter finds you. I know we met multiple times in different light times, but meeting you this time feels like a light time. And I can't wait to look in your eyes again and tell you I would love you for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to wake up next to you and see you smile and kiss you. And hopefully your breath don't stay too bad. <laughs> but I ain't tripping because I'm trying to do this shit with you way back, me being a granddad. I can't wait to massage your body until you mourn my name in different languages. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to massage your body until you mourn my name in different languages. And baby, don't worry, if I'm baby, don't worry, I'm attend to all your love languages. And dive in the deepest ocean in your mind to let you know that you're forever gonna be mine. Shit, in my mind, you're the perfect design. Handcrafted by God and sent to me first class on the angel airline. Shit, if you don't mind, I would love to be your personal superhero. So anytime you call, I promise I'll be, be the perfect of time. I know that life is a collection of movies. Mm -hmm. In this movie, I want me and you to be the main characters. So we can create positive memory after memory and scene after scene. No matter how negative things may seem, we'll always have an amazing scene. Yes. I love you. In advance. <laughs> <laughs> Just to clear that up. Yes, yes. Uh, but do you know that the power? Do you know that we have the power in our fingertips? And maybe that's why I'm trying to write this letter too. Because everything we everything we write, we manifest. And it lets you know that this love gonna be forever. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you get hope you putting yourself perfectly together. No, I hope you hold you holding yourself perfectly together. Because when I finally meet you, you you always be my most valuable treasure. Sincerely, the so me. Yes. I'll give you a turn right down. Now I know that he was trying to get y'all to find somebody to mold your name and lift your name and shit. Judges, y'all ready? Yes. I feel like there's some bias out there. Hold up the story, please. He put up a whole phone number. We got a, we got a nine, a nine point four. We don't do satanic ass numbers with all them extra decimal points. Nine point four. I'm not rhyming it up. And a ten. We have a woman in the corner that forgot who she was for a second and what team she was on. But that's all right. That's all right. We still love you. Un unbiased. Be unbiased. Twenty-eight-four. We got a twenty-eight-four. We applaud the poet and not the score. Yes. So, ladies, who we sit it up?
search for the bottle ass like me fine. Like in 2023, they gonna make a cold bottle that shit like me fine. Okay. Like these curves, give me the herbs to forget who I'm supposed to be fine. <laughs> Queen, you a big fine. Not to be confused with little fine. Like these big legs and naturally snatch waist that show sneak peeks of what's behind fine. Like watching me pass while you with your significant other should be a crime fine. Like you wouldn't have taken that charge when I go to the bathroom and slip here a lot of fine. <laughs> Beautiful, you are beyond fine. And of course, that's where most people start. But underneath these perky breasts located on the left side of my chest, I want that he's fine enough to want to get to my heart. I'm real good at discerning if that's where you want to start, and even more so concerned to see if I can infiltrate your thoughts. And, ooh, who likes it? Look at all this fine. At first glance, you think you get the better parts of it. And if I give you some premature, they won't be able to get you off of me. That's why you wait these 90 days so it won't be a loss for me. Because every day after that, thank go rise before your thoughts of it. Why am I so fine? There's a whole lot of fine. But there's some shit this ain't getting me. Like unlimited cuddles or lifetime lovers. You know the shit I really want to be. And oh, in that arena, I got so much to say. But I'm gonna get out my feelings and just be fine today. Cause this is a different kind of fine. It's a blessing and a shame. On the side of the road, getting volunteer, roadside assistance in the rain. See where that hip dip, I make your soul slip. I ain't never play a game. Not for your amusement, baby, I do this and you won't leave the way you came. I'm all found from my crown to my ankles and I'm sherman ultra soft. And I'm sitting with a sprinkle and I'm the baddest when I walk. And my jingle sings the jingle, take your heart and leave it lost. Then I'll get you out fine from every ankle.
I know you think this is weird, but I love it when you make it. Yes. Your body of work makes the Mona Lisa look basic because you are the finest work of art I've ever seen. You surpass anything in my imagination, so fuck the man of my dreams. Uh -huh. You show me that a real one is better. And it's even more sexy to me that you get naked whenever, wherever I please. Bringing women like me to our knees, and men get a little uncomfortable in the room, but shit, they still don't leave because it's something about the way that you speak. Hell captive by your words, fuck, I get angry when you breathe. So please, won't you undress? The fact that you expose the fact that you never wanted your father's belt. Expose the fact that first time I put some down. I know. <laughs> All right. That you undress the plight of the fatherless. You express that you desperately wanted your mother to love you just like the many men that visited her bed. You often wondered if she remembered that she was a part of you too. Hell, because all y'all came from between her legs but only you from birth. You often wonder when life hurts you, you wonder if I see sexual start hurt, or which is just the pain in your birth. And it was a real sad day when you realized that you couldn't possibly ever love a woman in this world if you didn't learn how to forgive your mother first. And it was that day I could tell that shit really hurt, a pain that only God knows. And then from the back of the room, I couldn't keep myself composed. From the back of the room, I screamed, go ahead, baby. Take off the rest of your clothes. Hey. Yeah. And I watched you derail the truth. That the size of your black nine didn't define your man. And it was crazy to walk around with the mentality of what your nigga would, because now you understood that the nigga just might. You addressed the fact that you quickly ran to the streets, but quickly ran back to the streets and said, maybe you might die tonight. And it was at that moment you chose life in a real way that a real man is supposed to. So now you see why I'm just not open to close with you. So unless Nike starts making track suits that I see through, I need the world to see what I see in you. To see a man that's willing to find himself before he ever comes look for you. Well, that man deserves recognition and I can't fight this feeling or fake it. That's why I want you right here, right now, on me butt ass nigga. Hey. <laughs> because most men are too afraid to get this naked anyway. <laughs> Spotify and what is it? 
All of all the different places. Yeah, I'm gonna let you say because I'm not good at it. Yeah, you can say it again. Classic stories on podcasts that I have with her. Kate Edwards. It streams like seven, eight, ten, twelve different places. I didn't drop it, I just called it. Well, I'm gonna drop it anyway, so. Six paragraphs? Ooh, I hate that. Gone, but not gone. And I'm the type that really wants to know now what you're about to say. The anticipation of the expression of your spontaneous, transcendent emotional feelings, synaptic realization of whether or not this could be a dream deferred. My mind is now going in two different directions. One, for the loss of opportunity to see what was originally on your mind. The loss of anticipation of moving a little more forward and this flux of communication between two former strangers united by circumstance that you've only imagined and I have never been part of before. The other direction is going towards what the meaning of the words were. For you, for me, for us. Though us is the least of concern, there are other types of us that came first. But what would those words have ranked our us? What was it ranked as you were writing these words? How many stories could have sprouted from the roots planted by a seed grown from a tree of your existence up to that point, and my future weathering of my emotional humidity growing moments into memories that would shape the relationship, a wonderful willow of companionship? Anyway, I hope at least the field comes back, though I don't think it left. They're there, waiting to grow again. I hope to be able to feel your feet as you try again to write, and I react in words.
it's a little different. So it's about some men that are not so kingly. I mean, that may not be a word we're going to use tonight, huh? You know what I'm saying? Did y'all know that over 67% of households have no fathers in them? That's a true stat, Google them, you don't believe me. So, with this piece tonight, I'm not a big fan of lights. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Yes. yeah. So tonight I'm gonna call out all men. You're not a fan of Whether fathers, right. brothers, uncles, athletes, coaches, teachers, teachers, or pastors. You see, we can't let the effect from the neglect of our children in this world today pass us. Because if we don't protect, we will regret and should expect them to live a life that's disastrous. Yeah. Now let me recollect before I myself begin taking steps backwards. You see, I gotta use my time wisely, keeping my two beautiful kids right here beside me, while allowing the man upstairs to guide me, while knowing that my dad is up there and he's staring down on me proudly. Right. Overcoming those emotions, I've overcome emotions as well as the devil's attempts to try and crowd me. And guess who's opposed to being with the in crowd? Me. You see, I never fall victim because I possess wisdom not to ever try and crowd, please. Yeah. See, my main focus is serving God while always providing what my child needs. Right, right. So while standing by my room, I really can't condone the actions of the majority. But since being on my own to myself, I've sworn only to serve God alone and receive his royalties. Right, right. See, I'm not the biggest fan of social groups, private clubs, fraternities, or sororities, but it's my bigger plan to remain a kingdom man and always fulfill my fraternity priorities. Uh -huh. And when it comes to my kids, I will give them all I can, all I am, all of me. As you see, fatherhood is something that I take so seriously. Wish I could say the same for most of these other guys who take pride and rely that kids are satisfied with the video games and clothes they buy, who simply don't realize it's the quality time that's looked at these kids' eyes. Right, right. It's thought about all the time in these kids' minds. And then rebellious actions come out that can lead these kids to a life of crime. Uh -huh. Now let me mention the motherfucking deadbeats whose ambition is to be laid up under bed sheets right next to someone who's in no opposition of being labeled a misled freak. Yeah. See, the thought of this really makes my head hurt, my heart hurt, my mouth cuts. Fuck. <laughs> so, men, please pay attention to the message within this piece by listening closely to these two powerful words, my tongue speak. Man up! Hey! And get your shit together right now. Because yeah. one day, before we even know it, we'll all be deceased. Yeah! yeah. Woo -hoo. So when is poor? Two tens, you had a ten, 
Do not let the spirit weary your soul with reasons of why you should not have voice. Let no weapon formed against you tame the essence of your spine, even with his hands around your neck. Do not let him make you believe that you are worthless. Queen, you are not worthless. Please, get off of the floor. <laughs> Fix your crown. Stand up and fight back. Yeah. Woo! 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 Y'all, y'all stay tuned for the next EP, FMF, the poetry. My poetic soul, that's what I have. Judges, y'all ready? Oh, I'm ready. Y'all ready? That's one. What, what are we scoring at? All right. From low to high. Ten. A ten. We have a 9.5, a 9.8, and a 10. Y'all applaud the poet. Not the poem, applaud the poet. What's that add up to the uh, 29.3? 29.3. Y'all give it up for everybody who's done something here tonight. Uh, I know that's for all of us, but still, clap for ourselves. That's how we gotta move forward. Like, we gotta clap for ourselves more. You ready back in here? Y'all have a poem? You back in post this mode now? Okay. I'm alright. I'm not gonna complain about losing to Big Mike, but it's alright. I'ma beat his ass in the parking lot. You goddamn skippy. You ain't wanna give me a fist prop. We appreciate y'all coming out tonight and supporting Lyrically Incline. Um, also, we are raising money to go to Tennessee uh, in June, June 7th through the 11th. So if you want to donate something, get with Brandon at the door. Um, we appreciate your donations. Come on! 
songs. I want to say congratulations to the women out there. Y'all think you are doing it? Just let me know what the next one is. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a fan of Mike's. Um, but I wanted to come up here because I was actually prepared for them too. Um, but this point here is more on a personal level. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, I lost my little brother, Jess Chris, about three years ago to cancer. And this piece here was inspired by him, and it's entitled Keep Pushing. So I actually wrote it the morning after he passed. Uh, I have a hard time getting through it at times, but I just want to use this platform to run it. So by round of applause, do you mind if I... This don't even seem real, my friend. Having to post pics of you while writing our RIP with your name at the end. But I saw firsthand all the pain you was in and sent my fair share of prayers for your healing to begin. Now throughout it all, just kept on pushing through. And anybody who knows you knows that's just a characteristic of you. Putting smiles on many faces, that's what God gets to you. Being an overall inspiration to me is what I admitted to you. I mean, you saw things in me I never knew was there. Push me, encourage me, put me in position to advance my passion for performing even though you knew I was scared. Leaving us with many stories to share. Leaving us with the many laughs we share. Leaving me with weary eyes as I try to write this the next morning. Leaving me with teary cries as I try to put a right to this morning. But nevertheless, I know I gave you flowers while you were still here. And even though you're gone physically, mentally, I know spiritually you're still here. Right. And when I'm on the mic like tonight, I know you're still here. Mm. Thank you so much for the many blessings you gave before you moved on. And the transparency from when sometimes you may have moved wrong. As far as your critics, just know you proved wrong. And through me, I guarantee your legacy will forever live on. You see, our bond, it has such great chemistry. You gave off this heavenly energy that once I allowed it to enter me, really helped build up the enemy and provide inner peace for when dealing with the enemy and all my enemies. Mm -hmm. Now you've been called home to be with our creator. And by faith, I know it's not a goodbye, but it's there to see you later. But since you're gone, just know down here you miss heavily. I said it before, and I say it again. I love you, little brother. And I promise to always keep pushing Chris's legs. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all give it up for Big Mike. <laughs> I, have watched, I have watched Big Mike grow through the years as a poet, as an artist. And he has transcended, transcended. Oh, and I miss Chris. I respect him so much. Um, I remember you guys used to come here, you know, every month um, and perform and share with us. So I'll just take a moment, just rest in peace, Chris. All right, y'all ready for the next poet? Bless you. Give it up for that big tall nigga in the
the four corners of infinity. I am great. I marinate ingredients, smothered on a fire. I burn up with your desire in the ashes of the lava. I am music. I'm the harmonica, the saxophone, the lyrics in the diary, the strings of the guitar, and the conductor of the symphony. I am life in the womb, sleeping in Philippian tombs. I'm the complexion of my mother. I'm the complexion of my father, meditating in the water. I am the baddest cause of war. My wounds are, are eternal. Original name can't be pronounced using earthly language. I am the oracles of grace, the birthstone of intelligence. I'm the image of humility, hidden in the elements, the demon in my closet, all the monsters in my head, the blood of my Messiah on my side, I'm not scared. I am devotion in the ocean, illuminate shark eyes. I am blinded eyes, my roar got ties in the divine. This is a tale of the dragon hearted, the fire maker, the night stalker, the day walker, the gutter sleeper, the pressure thinker, the absent father, the single mother, the power brokers, pulling the strings with blood on their pawns, murdering dreams in the terror zones, footprints in the mud, oppressive game plays inside their gloves. How many times do we have to die for how many people in all their lives? Isn't it ironic how our pain become iconic? Memorialized broken bones, our scars become chronic. Maybe I'm too hysterical, maybe I'm too cynical, maybe I'm too rhetorical, believing in the formidable. Instead of loving our enemies, we brutal the Judas. We murdered the Messiah, Jesus freed the rabbits, destined to be slain. Destined to be slain. Destined to be slain, yet introduce your kids to their gates. No accountability, we complain. Who's to blame? We took prayers on the schools. That's when Lucifer came with AR-15. Our children can be saved. Baraka Kaka. Blood falls on their thighs. Baraka Kaka. Fragile body dies. Mm. We see the pressures from the beast trying to slaughter the beast. Recorded on Facebook Live to demonize the streets. Doesn't care about your Versace, your Gucci, or Armani, or your Lamborghini. They disappear you like Houdini. My brother once told me that man should have cried when I was 23 years old in 1995. But I see the agony in my hood when my daughter resides. So I succumb to the tears in my bloodshot eyes of music. Oh. Yeah. I'm not a half ass kiss bump. Y'all give it up for Denarius. We must bring up the colors to come up here.
I said, say sorry for the cuffs too light, you need to loosen that. Use the mic, baby. Baby, appreciate you. I said, say sorry. Wait, wait, wait.
I'm the dude in your due time. I am the mind that it was mine. I am the God in the gift. How you live? I am the son in your rise and grind. I'm a reason to learn your history. I'm the heart of the hustle mind of the G. I am the phenomenal mind of speaking of when she decided to speak and let that cage burn free. Yeah. I'm the little fence and those fences when you don't know the facts. I'm your motivator, your pusher. I'm your voice to Atlantis on West. I'm your upheaval that makes freedom believable. I'm your ancestors. Why this dream? I'm the necessary evil. A mind. But you can call me queen. I'm your tricky lord. I'm your lost lord. I'm the opposition to oppression. I'm your landlord. I'm forgiveness in your wrong. I'm your faith in highest form. I'm the nihilist to your silver. I'm the reason you own it. Come home, somebody. And then you get me out these streets. Because I'm not going to weep. If he ought to be eaten at my territorial run deep. <laughs> Fuck that 
wrong for is you who you agree with. What? What? What you mean I'm cooking clean? Well, I pay for this fucking septic tank. Y'all give it up for Ascension, the artist. I'm going to say it after sitting 
Um, so I know there's a lot of poems that are, out, that are about bad relationships. So I just wanted to share one of mine about me. Huh. <laughs> Hugging my dad while watching nature documentaries feels like toasted marshmallows melting in the hot tub. They say many shit. So I smuggle our cozy memories past the sea of both parts. Like a good friend who laughs, though they don't hate your joke. I hear tales of his rarity. Armor as high as my standards, I venture out alone. My whipped cream melts into my coffee as my husband says, hashtag not all men with his eyes and his smile, never his thumbs or his tongue. <laughs> he tastes his dry rub, lights the grill, then continues his defensive stock doctor stuff. I am speechless. Like, learn my safe word in ASL, speechless. <laughs> Our boys rush in for hugs. I can feel the warmth from across the room. They say many shit. Because they aren't. They're fine. Ah, yeah. Woo! Give it up for our DJ Moose Harris. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Moose to Moose Suicide. 
I try to reach out to people and they send me the voicemail but they don't answer. So this form is called Daylight Friends. In the daylight, I'm all right as my friends make sure that I survive and stay alive. But when the sun goes down, they are never around and they can't be found as they are counting sheep in their sleep. As for me, that's when the shit gets real deep. And just like Mary, I weep because it's scary to fight the demons alone. See, my daylight friends are safe in their homes. What they don't see is all this negativity is taking a toll on my soul. As I reach out to family, but they're not listening to me. Friends send my calls to voicemail after 10 p.m. That's when the war begins, or I get the number that you have dialed. It's not in service. Lord knows I don't deserve this. It's so scary because the military has taught me the correct way to slit my wrist in combat or whatever I'm in captivity. See, I'm thinking about this especially at night when the daylight friends are fast asleep. The demons are scheming to kill me. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? What happened to those promises you made to me on Calvary? Till it's not just Jason chasing after me or Freddy Krueger. Nah, it's that sick Sawyer or that 20 gauge. It's where I want my blood to spill on the stage like some heat. I can't think. This boat is about to sink. I never said that my shit doesn't sink, but somehow the truth can be foul, especially if it's read out loud. How do you like me now? See, a smile is a frown turned upside down. Hopefully when you wake up from your slumber, you go from praying that I didn't pull my own number or kick the bucket only to say fuck it. I hope I can see the sunlight so my daylight friends can see that I'm all right. And they can help, help me fight to the bend the end until the moonlight, wherever I, where either I live or die. It's either amen or goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. 
Yes, yes, yes. Once again, I want to congratulate the women for winning the battle of the sexes men. But I want to congratulate Big Mike for winning the highest score poet of the night for the men. For the men. Now, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 